because I did the deletes, I don't even know how many miles, a couple thousand miles ago, I think, maybe not even that much. Just wanted to make sure everything's running smoothly, there's no leakage or anything, so let's uh, let's open this hood and see how she is, and, well, I thought I had to think about it for a second because I can't even open the, the Silverado's hood, so always be thankful, guys, that you can still open your hood. Let's do this. I just put that on there. Come on, man. Of course, we got the big filter right here. No leaking. Sounds amazing. I love the sound of this truck. It sounds so good. Gosh. Well, I guess I better close her up. So this vehicle will run to a million miles. It's already been proven. If you go on the Ram Trucks YouTube channel, you can see all these stories and guys run their trucks easily over a million miles. I know I watched this video, this guy, they went 1.4 million miles on this on his truck. And I think it was a 5.9 though, but I mean, come on, 6.7 is just as good as the new one. It's a 2.0, realistically. All right, catch you in a sec. I can't believe you turn, turn against everything here. I don't have to tell you, man. He's saying that that GMC right there is pulling off the wheels better than my Silverado. Just my opinion. But. Oh my god. Same exact rims and all, man. It's all choppy 30 frames. Do it, do it. No. <laughs> Say it again, please. What's up, guys? Take it over the channel. And Piece of shit pork job. Not even in the lines. It's not even that bad. It's pretty bad. What are you gonna do? Push it in the lines. So what's up? How was it? Uh, uh, Sprained my ass. Hey, that's a bit vulgar. Sorry. Hey, that guy's about to propose over there. Too late now. Oh, please do it again. No. <laughs> you gotta do it. Did Jordan see it at least? No, that's it. He didn't even see it. You gotta do it again. <laughs> see, he's gonna like run around and try to get. Do it. I'm not doing it, dude. Please. No. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so no. funny. No way. <laughs> this is literally animal cruelty. So long. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh shit. Get out of here. Oh yeah. Nope. No leaks in the truck. Perfect running coming. I guess I'm just being... I don't know, I guess I'm just trying to worry about it too much. Honestly, this truck has no issues and I love it. And we're just going to keep running it until it's in the ground. That's going to be a million miles. It's still looking shiny, guys. Believe it or not, I got it through the wintertime. I don't even think I washed it. I think I washed it maybe once, but there was never any salt that really touched it through this whole winter. I think we're good with snow, so that's crazy. Sure feels good to be on the road and not have to worry about getting pulled over for a bad headlight, let alone a whole smashed front end. Let's say water's high on the river today. Ooh, you got a loud engine right there, man. Holy cow, I just saw a semi just blow a tire off on the other side of the road. There was smoke everywhere and stuff. I have even seen a truck do that before. I never get it on video. It happens so quickly, but damn, it's, it's definitely a sight to see, and it's kind of dangerous. So I'm taking an alternative way. I think it'll be a little bit faster. I always take the Carlisle Pike exit, which is farther down, and then it always takes a while to get there. But I think this way will be there quick. Cummins. Gosh, man, those new Fords look so nice. No 
know, I'm actually glad that it's kind of cold on a day like today. That way I don't feel like I need to hike up a 10,000 foot mountain right now. So look at this truck, bro. It looks so good. Definitely need to go with 40s or something, you know what I mean? Tires are not big enough. Oh, look at that car, man. C7 Corvette. Oh, yeah. Gotta get one of these. So this is the best paper you can buy, five star. The best pencils are Ticonderoga, and then the best binder is Avery, also the divider, same thing. Dang, Nabbit, they only had three packs, so I gotta get 20 more. Oh yeah, man. Should I buy one of these instead? Holy cow. Nice. Bro, what do you got going on? Pull up to Alls here. About to see if they have it. Of course, I have a lot of automotive stuff to pick up here too. So hopefully it works out and then I'll have to stop somewhere else. But if we have to, then we got Home Depot. So let's go. We got it. All right, guys, so we're back outside today. Sun's out, feels pretty good. And I'm at the truck here, and I just bought a year supply of 60 watt light bulbs, but that is not all. I also got a huge supply. I actually bought the supply left, and how the store works is that they buy overstock from places, so they may never even get this again, but I got some STP diesel additive. And the main reason I got this is not for fuel economy and more power. Well, I also got it for preventing fuel gelling and I live in PA where we get really cold winters so that's really good I got a ton of those and if I only use them during the winter holy sounds like a race Ford that guy was flying a brand new Ford so yeah we got a whole supply of those I'm saying there is a ton of them in here look at this and I got them for guess what three bucks a pop it's so cheap I had to buy a ton of them and then also big diesel companies they always recommend holy cow diesel companies always recommend this if you don't want your fuel to gel up during the winter time buy some of this standardine they always talk about this companies always talk about STP as well but I do hear them carrying standardine and for example thoroughbred diesel carries that so that's why I bought some and it was only five bucks here. I don't know what the price is in the other store it doesn't say only five bucks That's really cheap and then I also bought some of this 104 octane boost. This is for my gas truck So I bought some of those I only bought five Figured I don't really need that it doesn't the fuel it doesn't help the fuel from gelling and I don't even know if gas even does that like diesel does so Figured I'd buy it anyway just for extra fuel economy, you know So then we also bought some, you know, soap, and then I got this right here. And this is actually what I really need to get some booster cables. Just some jumper cables, you know, I got it for cheap. It's half the price, so I figured I'd buy some. I never really have any to just sit in the truck. I know it's not good for me to be the hero and jump other people because all the, all the computers now in these trucks. If I need to jump and they got an older car or older truck, well, then it'll be fine and they can help me out if something happens to me. But, of course, if it's a guy with a lot of computers, then I'll probably just probably have to resort to something else. But I figured it's worth buying anyway. So then we got some more of the additive in this bag. I got so much of that additive. I'm going to be, that may be a, a lifetime supply. And I put it in every few times whenever it's actually really cold outside, below 32 or around 32, 34 degrees. Well, then I might be good for a very long time. So I'm glad I did that because I saved money and now I have a lot of, a lot of it. Move the truck down here because I just wanted to show you guys it in the sun and that red color in the sun. Oh my God. Absolutely amazing. Look at that. Man. Incredible. Look at that, man. 